Over the past few years, there has been a rise in multiplayer gaming, .io games. Agar.io, Slither.io, Hole.io, hundreds of games that follow a pretty simple concept, enter a username, connect to a server, and play a relatively simple game. These can be addicting, fun little games, and many of them have been incredibly successful, but the majority of them share one small detail. The multiplayer isn't really multiplayer. See, it's actually the perfect strategy. If you want to make an online game, but you don't have any players, just fake the entire thing. This has been a strategy used in many, if not all, .io games. Making the player think they're playing on a real server against real people, but in reality, they're just playing against bots. Now, I've always wanted to make a multiplayer game, and of course, just faking it would be a lot simpler. I wouldn't have to do any networking, I would save a bit of money, but I, I could never make a fake multiplayer game. That would be completely dishonest. Today we're making a .io game. To make an IO game, we first need an idea. If we look at the majority of IO games, they all follow a set theme, fake multiplayer. They all follow two set themes, fake multiplayer and their games that are easy to pick up. Take one of the most famous IO games, Agar.io, for example. You move this little blob around with your mouse and you eat smaller blobs to get bigger. That's it, that's the game. This game is worth $20 million. So my IO game needed to have a few key elements. It needed to be easy to pick up and learn. It needed to be fun to play and it needed to be addicting. So players keep coming back. I wanted to do a beat em up style game where you go around and beat people up. The idea was that the more knockouts you get, you end up upgrading your weapons. So for example, you only start out with your fists. If you get 10 knockouts, you upgrade to a bat, 20 knockouts, you upgrade to another weapon and so on. While I was developing this idea, I remembered a game that I stumbled across a while back, a game made for Ludum Dare 44, Payblood by Hydrometer. Basically, you're in a one-on-one -on -one fight and each round you can sell a limb of yours for blood and use the blood to pay for better weapon upgrades. I I really loved the combat system, the graphics, and the overall style of this game. It was super simple, but also very effective. I've left a link in the description of the game, but this is the exact style I wanted for my game. So courtesy of Payblood and Hydrometer, we had a movement system and some basic graphics for the game. Now, it was time to make an AI for the enemies. This was extremely important to do right, since we wanted to trick players into thinking they're actually playing against real people. I followed an enemy AI to tutorial on YouTube, but I somehow accidentally made a first person shooter. So reworking it from scratch with my own few additions, this should work. Ah, oh, crap. I accidentally made Minecraft from scratch. Damn it. This always happens. I decided to go with an AI system similar to Payblood because I really just liked how it worked. Essentially, the enemy has two movement states, move towards the player or move away. At random, it chooses between one of those two states. When in range, the enemy will throw a punch and engage in combat with the player. I also added in an alarm that made the enemy randomly throw a punch <laughs> for no reason. I think this just adds to the feeling of playing a real multiplayer game with people just randomly clicking. I'm also going to add different enemy AIs such as the hostile enemy who fights other enemies. This is important because players won't believe it's a true online game if it just so happens that every enemy is after the player. The tryhard enemy, which is an enemy that is just somehow 10% better than all other enemies. And the enemy that doesn't know what he's doing, who essentially doesn't have any actual artificial intelligence programmed. He just either stands still or walks around in random directions. Taking a break from working on the game mechanics, we needed to add a few things to the game to make it really feel like a multiplayer game. It wouldn't be a multiplayer game without a loading screen, so I added one of those. I also added a join server button and uh, a little loading screen to it so it looks like you're joining a server. By the way, if, if you don't want to wait when you're actually playing the game, just press space to skip these loading screens. <laughs> I also added a username system, which is very important to IO games. So you can enter a username and for enemies, each enemy will randomly be assigned a username from a list. This list will take a while to complete as I need a decent amount of fake usernames because we don't want three people with the same username. As for the name of the game, I decided to go with combat.io. We've got the .io part 
we just need to do something about the combat side of things. Now, the combat system for the player was real simple. Whenever you would punch, a hitbox would be created for a split second. If this hitbox collides with the enemy, it'll deal a random amount of damage between a set range. Same thing works on the enemy side of things. If you collide with an enemy hitbox, you will receive a random amount of damage between a set range. This combat system makes it easy to implement weapon upgrades, which, speaking of weapon upgrades, 5 kills gets you brass knuckles, 10 kills gets you a bat, 20 kills gets you a knife, 30 kills gets you a pickaxe, 40 kills gets you a bat, with spikes, 50 kills gets you a spear, 60 kills gets you an axe, and 70 kills gets you a katana. I added in a randomized enemy spawning system, so multiple enemies were now spawning. Each enemy spawns with a random weapon based off a percentage system, so obviously they have a higher chance of receiving no weapon and a very low chance of receiving a katana. Next thing to add were different colored enemies. Imagine if you logged onto this game thinking it's a multiplayer game and you're the only character that isn't red. <laughs> I added blue, yellow, green, and orange. I then added some health pickups that randomly spawn. I had to add a limitation to the amount of enemies that can exist at once because what, what the hell is this? Essentially, the map is 5,000 pixels in both width and height. Enemies will despawn if they're not within a 2,000 pixel radius of the player. Enemy spawning will also be capped at 25 at the start of the game, but as the game progresses, it will eventually cap at 40. Enemies and other spawnables will only spawn within a set radius of the player, which allows the player to constantly be engaged with action. I don't want the player running around the map for 20 minutes trying to find somebody to fight, or shall I say, some bot to fight. Okay. Adding in these functions allowed for a smoother gameplay experience. Now, it was time to add a few final features, clean up the game a little, and uh, we were going to be finished in just a few hours. Okay, um, yeah. So, <laughs> took a little longer than expected. I cleaned up the GUI with a custom health bar, which shows your total kills for the game and your amount of coins, which we'll get into in a second. I added booster effects, which randomly spawn in game. We've got resistance, which makes you take less damage. We've got speed, which gives you a speed boost. And we've got strength, which, you guessed it, gives you blast resistance and aqua affinity. It also makes your attack stronger. Boosters are shown in the GUI and each booster lasts for 30 seconds. Next, we've added a character customization menu where you can select a color for your player. This was essential to an IO game since character customization is a huge part of most IO titles. This also added an explanation for the fact that the enemies are randomly colored. They've just simply customized their character. Now with coins, you can unlock starter weapons. So for example, if you earn 50 coins, you can unlock a knife as your starter weapon weapon, so whenever you log into a new game, you start with the knife. This added an explanation as to why enemies that would spawn would have a weapon straight away. They've simply just unlocked a starter weapon upgrade. Maybe if you played the game, you would have as many coins as them and you'd be able to get one too. Get over it. And lastly, we've added a secret unlockable character. Go... G G guy in orange... Guy in orange gi. This was my first shot at adding a custom character to the game, and I liked how it turned out. Guy in orange gi is slightly faster than your average character, and also has a power pop uh, red stick for a weapon. If you want to learn how to unlock him, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like the video, and all you have to do is click the display character in the customization menu. But Guy in the Orange Gi is a little OP, so I recommend trying the game with the default character first for more of a challenge. There were only a few more small additions required, so we quickly smashed those out. We added those enemy AIs that were required, including the tryhard enemy AI. This guy is really good at the game. He's better at moving and punches more frequently. The hostile enemy AI. Essentially, two of these enemies spawn next to each other, outside of the player's viewport radius, and they will punch each other. Once they've finished with each other, the winning enemy will turn into a normal enemy AI. And we have the enemy that doesn't know what he's doing. I added in more usernames, which I found from online username generators. I added in a random chance that enemies will have a booster effect, whether it's resistance, speed, or strength. I added in a high score, some sound effects, a leaderboard, which really added to the whole multiplayer feel. Actually, no, it didn't. It's actually, it's pretty shit. And now it's time to purchase a .io domain, upload the game to my own website, and fill the page with ads. Uh... Yeah, yeah maybe I'll just upload the game to itch. Now, before we play this game, 
let me know what you think. I'm thinking of adding more content to the game, fixing up some things and actually releasing it on mobile. Would you be interested in this? All right, let's uh, try the game. Okay, so here we go, Endless Cough. I need to change the uh, logo, don't I? <laughs> okay, now we're ready to play combat.io. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off my sounds. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is customize my character because uh, I, wanna, I wanna just go with a different character, put in a username. We'll go by the name Bad Game Dev, and uh, let's begin. So unfortunately, I don't have any coins at the minute to purchase any starter weapons, so I just sort of gotta start from the beginning, but that's fine. So let's uh, connect to a server. Um, hopefully we connect to a server pretty quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip this with spacebar. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna disable uh, name tags by pressing N because they get in the way and a leaderboard because it's literally just a PNG image. Alright, so let's begin. We've got some people walking around. These these seem like just pretty basic uh, enemies. It, it is kind of weird playing without usernames. I haven't actually played the game without enemy usernames before, uh, but, that, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll get the jump on this dude here and get some health back and <laughs> see these are one of the noob characters they just sort of stand there and don't do anything. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. We've we've run into a bit of danger. See the yellow one with the katana? That is what a pro enemy is like. They move quicker. They they attack more. But that's fine. We're just we're just going to get out of here. So my tip for this game, if I had to give one, is don't go straight for the enemies that have higher weapons than you. You're probably not going to win unless you have a strength boost or unless you play as guy with orange gi. Okay, this enemy here has apparently a speed boost, which is not good. But that's fine. Uh, enemy speed boosts don't last any longer than ours, so uh, he'll only have that for about 30 seconds, uh, but I can't hit him, so there's no point even trying. Let's just turn usernames on just to get an idea of how it will look. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So I think the username system works kind of well. Um, unfortunately, there's only about uh, probably less than 100 usernames that uh, an enemy could get. So there isn't that many. I'm going to take this guy out, even though he has brass knuckles. There isn't too many. Um, the reason I didn't put too many is because a lot of people playing this game will be from this video. So you know that it's a fake game. So if 20 people with the same username pop up you'll know but when I do the mobile version I'll, I'll actually put some time into creating some usernames so that um, you know there's a very low chance that two people with the same username will appear We're almost at 10 kills which gets us a bat so uh, everything's looking good in that department we just sort of got to try to stay away from these freaking enemies with axes and katanas we're gonna equip ourselves with a uh, guy in orange gi so yeah have a shot there's a link in the description if you want to play it and if you enjoy it let me know if you want to see a mobile version let me know oh God, let's watch this scrap. This looks pretty intense. I think I'm going for the guy with the bat. What are their usernames? I'm going for Bubbles. I think he's got this. Unless they just keep backing away, then that's always a possibility. Yo, there's a pro here. Look how fast he moves. You see what I'm saying? Also, comment down below what high scores you get and see if you can get on the leaderboard, which <laughs> I'm just going to add a disclaimer right now. Don't actually play in hopes of getting on this leaderboard because nothing will happen. <laughs> Another easy kill here. AFK. Nice. Okay, we've actually got a tough bat and we're dead. Cool. So that is combat.io, my fake multiplayer game. Uh, yeah, fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out some of my other content. There's a few videos on screen right now that you may enjoy. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do that as well. It's free. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.